Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to populate the J table. Uh, J table is very essential when you want to show your database table data onto into your J frame. So let's get started. First of all, go to palette and pick table into your frame and right click and name your table I will name it table to populate your J table you need to jump download one jar table which you need to include in your uh, library so I will show you how to download a jar table go to your browser go to Google write RS to XML download and then you will see the link on the site free rs2 xml download and you click this site this page will open and you just need to click download and when you go further your rs2 xml jar file will be downloaded i have already downloaded so i will not download it once again once you downloaded this file, go to your project, go to libraries, right click, go to properties, add jar file, and wherever you saved your jar file, just click it, and click open, and press ok, so your jar file will be included here. Now go to source we need to import as usual the basic library file so I'm copying just paste and also need to include one more very important file which, whose name is import net dot DP metals this file you need to import and once again to make connection to the database you will need to include these three components so I'm also once again copying because I have already shown it last time and just below your main method just paste it here and also you need to include a con is equal to java connect dot connector db file into your main method this method so your connection is done now we need to make a method which will populate the J table. So write right. private void and name it update table. close the parenthesis and 
and here we need to write string sql or whatever name you want to give and write write select star from last time we made uh, the table called employee info so we want to show this data onto your JFrame so uh, I will write this here select star from the table whatever table name you have and then just write PST equal to on dot prepare statement SQL so right SQL I think I made some mistake here just copy this statement from here maybe the spelling mistake now this is not the spelling mistake when we go here it shows that our method is not caught so we need to enclose our statement try catch block try and catch Option pin dot show message dialog. can see the error is gone now then then write rs is equal to est dot execute query automatically the name of the string comes here and here is the most important step Our name table name is table employee so just copy it and paste it here and then dot set model and here just inside D D B U T I L S dot result to table model. So we have written a table name set model uh, in the blocks you have to write db dot result set 
tuning table model. So I think that finishes our simple program. I will try to run it. And still our data is not here. So I will try to find the mistake. Okay, I found the mistake. You need to call this method into the main routine. So you just copy it and just paste it. So where you have written your connection method, just copy and paste it. Your update table method also. And now when we run our program once again the problem comes so let's see what is the problem I think I've written extra SQL in this rs is equal to psd dot execute query it's enough we don't need to write it here SQL query. So now we will try to run our program. Yes, our table is shown here. Everything we can see, all the data on the table we can see here. One more thing if you want to show specific data, then you will need to write. The specific column name here so my column name is name for example you need you want to see name and uh, age so just write name and age here and just run so you can see only name and age so that finishes our tutorial for today. Hope you have enjoyed and please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.